Okay everybody, this is Moody Dashcam and today we are in Ozone Park, Queens and we're going to be talking about the infamous mob robbing couple Thomas and Rosemary Uva known as uh, Bonnie and Clyde just like every other husband and wife um, crime team Now, picture this, it's December 24th, 1992, Christmas Eve 8.30 a.m. And they're shooting, they're leaving their apartment, which is on 83rd, which we're going to be making a right on right now. I don't know exactly where the apartment was. If anyone does know the apartment, leave it in the comments. I will pin the comment if you know the exact address, because I, I was not able to find it. So, this is the road. After a long summer of robbing mafia social clubs, yes, you heard that right robbing mafia social clubs. Rosemary was the getaway driver. They would drive a four-door maroon Mercury Topaz. Um, and yeah, she was the getaway driver. He would run into these social clubs with an Uzi. And now one of like mob rules would be that you didn't really bring many weapons into a social club. So all these gangsters would be in the social club literally caught quote unquote with their pants down Thomas Uva would make them pull their pants down while he was robbing them and he would take cash from their pockets, jewelry any cash that was in the place from any card games or anything he would like to hit spots that had um, high, high stakes card games going on it was pretty wild so like I said, Christmas Eve they're shooting down this way up to 103rd Avenue. And yeah, they were uh, they were a crime team. Both of them before they were married were arrested for robbery and spent time in prison. Um Thomas was a little bit mob obsessed. He would actually his boss said that he would take days off of work to go support John Gotti during his trials. He would go sit in the trials which is kind of crazy. Didn't know the guy. I mean, grew up around them because he grew up in the neighborhood and he was always fascinated by the life. But other than that, was not affiliated at all. Estimated they robbed about four to 10 social clubs. Now, the reason why they don't know the exact number is because what gangster do you think is reporting that their social club got robbed? They were gonna try and handle that themselves, you know? There was actually a little bit of a, there was like an open contract out on these two, on this couple, because they robbed the Bananos, they robbed the Gambinos, and I'm sure they robbed some, or robbed or pissed off some other family. Because you don't just uh, get a, get off that easy. Well, can I make this little turn here? Nice. We're actually right by a, uh, Jimmy the Gent's house. See how I pronounced that correctly? Alright, we're on 103rd Avenue right now. And like I said, they were pissing everyone off. Now, during these robberies, like I told you, he would have them pull their pants down, which was just a total disrespect thing. He even leaned down to one of the old mobsters and messed up the guy's hair. I mean, this is how disrespectful this guy was. And one of the mobsters told him that uh, he's gonna get killed for this, and he replied with, everybody dies. Kind of being like a smart ass, like everyone dies eventually. And now what led to them getting caught was they robbed the place, and the wife's driving away, and one of the mobsters tried to chase them, and he wrote down the license plate number. So I'm sure he gave out the license plate number to whoever wanted it, or whoever, yeah, whoever wanted it, really. And uh, they were found. So they were doing all these robberies in the summer and the fall and Christmas in the winter is when it happened. Okay, so this next light right here, maybe there's not a light here anymore. Oh, no, there is 91st Street. They're stopped at this light not thinking anything of it, about to go shopping, you know, it's 8.30 in the morning, and they're parked here, and boom, 
three shots to the back of each of their head. They die instantly. Now the car's in drive. So, they, the suspect of this murder was not found for a very long time because the whole mafia wanted them killed. So, people didn't really know which way to look. The FBI didn't know which direction to look in. Um, it took 13 years, but they finally figure out that Dominic Pozzonia, also known as Skinny Dom, he had a social club about a quarter mile away from here called the Cafe Liberty, and they figured out that it was most likely him. So, they're dead. Foot gets off the gas. The car rolls. The car rolls for a couple blocks. I'll show you where it crashes. It's kind of crazy. There's a picture. Of course, I'll add the pictures. You all know I had the pictures. Obviously, they don't stop at the stop sign, everyone. I have to stop because I'm not dead. And they were found with the car. A stash of jewelry was found in the car. Who knows from what and from when. There's also a movie made about this. Okay, right about here. They lose control. They hit a car. I, I, I'm going to bet that they hit... Let's get my finger in here. You know how I like to do that. Right there. That brick wall. They probably hit that brick wall. Seems the most likely. Of course, I don't exactly know which wall they hit. Um, like I said, I'll add the picture. But yeah, so the car hits another car and heads to a wall and hits the brick wall at a private residence. Um, there were two movies made about this. The more popular one, Rob the Mob, which... Uh, you know, depicts pretty much this whole scenario. They took some liberties. They they said that when he would have the mobs just pull their pants down, that he had them lay on top of each other and do humping motions. They really, uh, they took a little far in the movie. But, yeah, it's a movie. And then another one called The Wannabe, which he was really a mob wannabe, you know? He, he idolized these guys and realized that he could rob the social clubs and no one would really bother him because he's robbing gangsters. So right over here is probably where they crashed. Let's see if I have anything else in my notes that I missed. They both spent time in prison. I mentioned that. They lived right in this neighborhood. And yeah, that is pretty much it. We're in South Ozone Park right now. It's a big, big gang area. Um, the Bergen Hunt and Fish Club, John Gotti's club was over here. And... John Gotti denied all allegations that he was involved at all in this hit. Meanwhile, um, Dominic Pozzonia was a Gambino. So, a hit doesn't really happen at that time without John Gotti knowing about it. I know you guys like when I squeeze through cars. It's always fun to squeeze through someone's nice car while they're right here and watching your every move. You always make it through. You have to. All right. That is pretty much everything I have to tell you about Thomas and Rosemary Uva. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one.